Good morning, friends. Big cobweb. Big cobweb. Uh, we are going on a play date at the pumpkin patch, apple orchard, whatever you want to call it. Um, right now it's apples in season, so we'll call it the apple orchard. We have a big playground and stuff. So we're going with our homeschool group. We have family passes or season passes to this particular orchard, so that makes this an inexpensive day for us because we've already paid to go as much as we want. You guys excited? Yeah. yeah. Can we show them the cobweb no, because I can't even see it with my. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pick that up with the camera. Um, there's a cobweb in a tree next to our driveway, and because it had been raining and now it's foggy and dew, it's just filled with dew, and so it looks. Yeah, it looks like <sighs> anyway, I gotta. We, we've gotta pull out of here so we make it on time. It's 9:40. Play date is at 10. Should be fun. Um, today is Thursday, so it is a school day, but this is a homeschool field trip, if you will. And then I do have a few things for us that we will do once we get home. Depending on my energy level after the field trip, I either want to run to Aldi and get groceries, or if I'm too tired or just have zero motivation, or depending on how the kids were behaving, um, I'll place a grocery order when I get home through Walmart delivery, but I did bring my bags and I have a quarter in case I do decide to go to Aldi, because it's been a while since I've been to Aldi. And we don't need a ton this week, just some items for dinners, really. Um, nothing specialized, so I should be able to get it all from Aldi. So I'll let you know if we do that, but we're gonna get going and go have some fun with friends. Alley girl found some bunnies. That white one is big. I know. Look at the brown one. It's so cute and fluffy. Alice, there's cow. Cow? Oh, I love cows. Hi, friends. All the goats are out. They're adorable. Some bunnies in the chore. Hi, Mila. Hi. <laughs> there are Christian bunnies. Christian bunnies. They're in the church. It's so cute. Hi right, friends, we've been home for hours at this point, but I took a nap when we got home. Um, dinner tonight is a creamy garlic chicken, almost like a chowder. It's delicious. I will leave the recipe down below on the website where I found it. The only thing I did differently, oh yawns, I added, I don't think the original recipe called for a can of corn or tomatoes, and I added corn and tomatoes because I had some on hand, and so it's really tasty though. Also, a Kroger exclusive new Mountain Dew flavor, the thrashed apple. It's like a sour apple. It's not bad. Um, it's better than I thought it would be. Yeah, you wanna try it? Do you like dinner? Is it tasty? Anything that the kids will eat is always a winner. Is it actually good or are you just saying that? I bet the chicken sauce Yeah, it's yummy. It's got lots of veggies in it. Let's see her reaction on this new Mountain Dew flavor. You like it? It does taste like apple, doesn't it? <laughs> so we did pick apples when we were at the apple orchard. Um, most of these are golden delicious. There are a few Asian pears in here as well, but there weren't many Asian pears left on the trees, but the golden delicious, the kids each had one, they said they're really good, so very fun. Are you making slime? Is it turning out? I can't tell. Your yeah. stuff is always so, so sticky. It's not sticky. Clearly. She's like, got a whole little setup going over here, using, this is, where did you get glitter? It's not glitter, it's confetti. Oh, it's the confetti add-in stuff? Yeah, Ugh. it makes it kind of cool. And here's the one I made earlier, this is the one I put play in. Yeah, air dry play. I know I'm going to get comments like, what, why are you letting your kids play, not why are you letting, but we don't do slime around here, blah, blah, blah. She's pretty good with it. Like, there's only been one slime incident where we got slime in the carpet, and that was when they were little, like, and it was actually like therapy, just... yeah, it was actually therapy putty of Jackson's. Oh, the purple kind that's on the No, wall. the green. Oh, there was a few splatters here. No, it was actually 45 minutes of me trying to get it out of the carpet is what it was. Yeah. Ridiculousness. <laughs> but that's the only time we've ever really had a problem with slime or putty in the house. Um, I am going to clean up. Are, are you guys done eating dinner? Or are you going to have more, babe? No, I think I'll probably 
probably call it good there. Okay. So we still have plenty left over for tomorrow, which was my plan. So I'm probably just gonna put it right in the fridge like that and then I'll heat it up tomorrow right in the crock pot. It's cooled down now so I can put that in the fridge. It was really yummy. The kids ate it. Will had a few bowls, I had a bowl. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. I've just got stuff kind of everywhere. kitchen is clean kids are having a bedtime snack um there's jackson had a little mini pizza so that's more than just a snack but they are tiny he did eat dinner but he was hungry again and then alice had me cut up one of the asian pears we got from the orchard today and he's having some of that too i guess but i figured i will wind this down i was just looking at my upcoming calendar for what i wanted to do with the vlog over the next few weeks and since I've been meal planning again, I think I'm going to incorporate um, what's for dinner videos again, which I know a lot of you have missed those. So I think I'm gonna start that. It'll be about a week and a half before the first one goes up though, because we're tomorrow I'm getting a grocery haul and that'll start like our next week of my meal plan. So tomorrow's Friday. I get groceries delivered pretty much every Friday and then that'll start the next week of meal plans. I'll record over the next week or so and then I'll put it up the following, probably Monday or so. I'm gonna try and do what's for dinner videos on Mondays. So we'll see how that works out again. It's been a while, but I'm actually meal planning lately, so I figured that would be a good addition back to the channel. That wasn't even a real burp. He like tries to like say it's a burp, but he's like forcing it and it just sounds like <laughs> Okay, so. You can look forward to that. Drop a comment if you um, are excited about that. Each one will probably have, it won't, it'll be like seven days of meals, but I don't cook every single day. So I do a lot of cooking with leftovers, especially like with the crock pot. So yeah, trying a lot of new to us recipes off of Pinterest, which is, it's been going well. So we will, we'll see how that goes. Um, I just finished a book for my small group bible study we finished this week we wrapped up the book seamless by angie smith and then we are starting i know some of you um are kind of interested in that we're starting matchless same author same style of study guide except this one focuses more on the life of jesus so i'm very excited to dive into that um let me know if you've done this one i'm curious to know your thoughts so that's what's going on in my like hobby extracurricular life for myself the kids are still involved in scouts and american heritage girls so mondays tuesdays and wednesday nights are pretty busy monday is jackson's cub scout night tuesday is alice's ahg night i'm treasurer for both of those if you're not aware so i go to all those meetings uh, wednesday is my small group where we do some sort of book bible study um, and that's my like time to get out of the house why is there a square floating around on here it's distracting me on my screen you can't see it it's just distracting distracting me on my camera i must have hit a button and didn't mean to um yeah uh we started reading a wrinkle in time for our family read aloud i actually need to get the kids 
settled once they're done with their snack and sit down with them and read. We didn't finish last night's chapter because Alice fell asleep. Little sleepy girl. Of course I say sleep and then I start yawning. Um, 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 um. Trying to just catch you all up on stuff. Tomorrow, Friday. Tomorrow we have an event at the church. They're doing a family Lego night. So there's some sort of contest. We should be going as long as Will's feeling okay after work. Uh, they do like a contest. We don't know what we're gonna be building. They'll give us like a topic or like a category of build. I don't know, it sounded fun and free. So something to get the four of us out of the house together doing something fun and STEM related for school. Because we went to the orchard today, today was a very, um, not much actual like table work for school. So tomorrow I told the kids, normally Friday is our day of, like a lighter day of school. It's like our catch up day, but tomorrow is gonna be more of a normal day of school. We're gonna have science, math, language arts, reading. We're gonna have all the things tomorrow just to kind of play catch up. Or at least that's the goal, depending on how we're feeling and how it's going. So that's the good thing with home. Did you like the mango flavor of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just, Jackson grabbed a, they're the Minute Made smoothies. Bring it here real quick. You've probably seen them in my grocery hauls if you watch those. Do you like the mango or the strawberry ones better? Mango. The mango, that's what Alice said too. It's just the little, Minute Maid Super Smoothies. Um, they're not like, they've got five grams of sugar, five grams of protein. Um, that one does smell good. But they have a tropical mango and a strawberry banana and they come in a four pack. They're shelf stable, which is kind of nice. Anyway, they've been enjoying those. What was I saying? Nice thing about homeschool. If we don't get through everything that I'm planning tomorrow, it's not a huge deal because we can just play catch up another day. I'm gonna close this out. Thanks for coming along today. Drop a comment, share some love. Until next time, we will see you later. Bye.